before Anthony was killed? Or was there any tension there that you knew of? Not, not with Juvie, not with Chris, but um, you know, you heard things about him. And That's to you and your mama and your daddy and everybody that looked like you. And it's me, I said, y'all bitches, man. Boosie down there, support Melly. He, he, he flaw as fuck for that. But you know, he don't even know that nigga Melly. Nigga talks, oh, I want Melly Freaker. That nigga bought me some snacks and magazines at a magazine. Snacks and magazines at the airport. What? Man, Your nigga. son's life was taken and before Anthony was killed, or was there any tension there that you knew of? Not, not with Juvie, not with Chris, but um, you know. So YNW Juvie's father is still going brazy out here. He's letting it be known that little Boosie is a B word for even mentioning free YNW Melly and yet he didn't even go to little Marlo's case so he's accusing little Boosie of clout chasing and doing the most right now and he's also calling out his own daughter y'all this man is even calling out his own daughter and I'm gonna tell you why he's calling out his own daughter because of this case and the death of his son YNW Juvie also the death of sack chaser now all parties are innocent until guilty has been proven in the court of law but let's start this show the right way thank you for watching another episode of osmo hip-hop live please hit that like button hit that notification bell salute all right let's start with the show so ynw juvie we know his story is very told in florida but to the industry people don't know who he is so you guys are gonna need to stay updated in the trial against rapper ynw melly whose birth name is jamal demons the up-and-coming star is accused of killing two of his friends also rappers then attempting to stage the murder as a drive-by shooting in the miami area they got it wrong it's not in the miami area it was in the broward county area in Miramar, but we're going to get into that later. Testimony from the crime scene technicians and inf investigators took up the majority of the day Tuesday. Dozens of crime scenes photos were shown at the scenes. I showed that on a separate video. You guys can go look at that. Well, I'll, I'll look out for you guys and show a quick scene of the pictures or whatever this was the crime scene pics that they showed out there now before i continue reading and giving fresh updates we got to give the updates of juvie father now juvie father is tired of folks opening their mouth on this situation and picking sides and you don't know what it's implementing or implicating so he's gonna go in on first the main face of the free ynw melee movement which would be little boosie boo himself so without further ado let's go to him that's to you and your mama and your daddy and everybody that look like you and it's me i said y'all bitches man boosie down there support melly he 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 flaw as fuck for that but you know he don't even know that nigga melly nigga talks oh i want melly freaker that nigga bought me some snacks and magazines at a magazine snacks and magazines at the airport what Man, nigga, why you didn't go go to Marlo Mike trial, nigga? The fuck you, this nigga trial. Marlo Mike in that bitch fight for his life, nigga. Nigga, you got that man stunned up the road for all doing all that goddamn time, but you in there for Melly. And got them niggas in Louisiana fighting for their goddamn Baton Rouge fighting for their life. Nigga, you got your priorities fucked up, nigga. Go back to your hometowns, scary ass nigga. Shit. Let me see what up. Man, everybody that's saying free Melly. That's to you and your mama and your daddy and everybody that look like you. And uh, and my daughter, Chloe, she all on that bitch talking about some free melee. Fuck you too. Uh, fuck your brother, fuck your mama. Shit. Fuck anybody that you think could fuck with Spoon. Uh, and my daughter so Chloe you can see that he really was going in on the situation he's mad because his daughter was speaking to the i guess opposition would be melly in the father's eyes and he said you guys can never mess with spoon you feel me we also know the ysl case takes a lot of turns in the bizarre antics of the judge in that case as well and we've seen bizarre antics from melly himself you know acting a, uh, i'm not gonna say a fool but people are saying that themselves you know what i'm saying melly situation how he's flexing in court and how his lawyer book says evil 
plan plans and stuff and people got their own little you know theories of what's going on we're just gonna stick here and say what we see now the dad gotta ask another question regarding this situation let's go in that as far as motive and what the guilt of ynw melly could be your son's life was taken and before anthony was killed was there any tension there that you knew of not with Juvie, not with Chris, but, um, you know, you heard things about him and um, Anthony getting into, like, altercations about uh, disputes about money over, over certain situations. And they got in a fight prior to that, and they said, like, you know the story that they say um, Sack beat him up and knocked his goals out in front of his girlfriend. And, like, two days later, I think that's when the incident happened. Was there any sign of bad blood before? Now, when you see what the dad is talking about, we've heard that as far as people just talking and saying things. And you know what I'm saying? As far as um, the golds being knocked out of YNW's Melly's mouth. A lot of people was alluding to that. They got in a fight. I remember the mom allegedly was on a video ranting about you know what I'm saying? How Sack Chaser would try to bully Melly. And I don't know how true that is. Um, Maybe she was just mad in the moment and why, why she said that in the first place. You know what I mean? But YNW, uh, um, Bor uh, Bortland, he's going to speak on the situation himself as far as media exaggerating on this and, and you know, bringing it to left and right. He's the co-defendant with YNW Melly in this case of the murder of YNW Sack Chaser and YNW Juvie. Now, Bortland, he reacts to the media and he says, the way media drags blank should be a crime. And I guess he's trying to allude to their innocence and the way media's outlets, bloggers, etc., even the big corporate ones, they're trying to put guilt immediately without looking at the circumstances through their eyes. So and I guess he's trying to say y'all finding us guilty and y'all making it seem X, Y, and Z when it's not even like that at all. And I can, you know, presumably feel how someone can go through when you're being looked at as guilty and nobody believes you and you're gonna look at the people who spread as far as in your eyes of what propaganda might be and that's the bloggers or whatever that's not what i'm saying i'm echoing the sentiments of what he means and what he's alluding to now there's a lot that's been going on with this case i'm not gonna even lie to you guys it's a lot you could picture more into it with the father going into the little boosy situation we seen little boosie go to court he say he damn near wants to become a lawyer now because how close the situation has brought him as far as getting defense for rappers and all that and it gave back and forth through two different opposing views you got people who's in support of boosie doing that and they gave him kudos and tremendous situations and uh, applause i guess and then you got the other side that are saying how can boosie fight for someone innocent if the person might be guilty so it's one of those hard lines you got to stand on it you got to know the backlash that's going to come with making those outbursts out loud and as you can see with ynw juvie's father he's not going for none of that in his mind it, he knows who's guilty so when he sees certain rappers picking i mean if the man can go at his own daughter he can go at his own daughter like that then obviously he's gonna go at a little boosie now he referenced little marlo mike you know that was the young dude who admitted to a whole lot of atrocities of murders and he took you know the accountability of them and people blamed that on boosie and y'all know the behind the stories of that i don't want to get into that so we don't want to take away from the topic of ynw melly case but the father is referencing how can boosie doesn't even know melly but he wants to be a voice of reason for melly and it, it seems fakish according to what the dad is trying to put out there i can see both sides i can see family and friends of melly you know who feels he's innocent and they're gonna voice it out loudly your and son's I can see, life was taken and before anthony was killed or was there any can, tension there that you on, knew yeah. of not and I can Julie. definitely see the dad's side on how he wants his side to be the polar opposite. He wants it to be guilt. And he's going to look at it like that. The flexing in court got him uncomfortable. The family were very vocal about that. How YNW Melly, you know, basically was in there and he was, you know, making a mockery of the case. Others people say he was just confident feeling a victory is coming through and i did a separate video on that y'all can go check it out it was a lot of breakdowns maybe he feels very innocent of the situation now the court system said they had admission of guilt by melly
okay that that part of the video wasn't playing don't even worry about it but you can go check my other video out she basically alludes to guilt by both parties meaning the co-defendant barlton and uh melly himself it's unfortunate the situation all around it's gonna be a who's who's and how you feel about it and i guess that's what we're left with so i'm not gonna entice the situation instigate it i only report the news and i do a damn good job at it make sure you guys stay tuned to this and, and, and we'll give you more updated news on it much peace to the families of everybody involved in this man look love your family love your kids and definitely when i say stay blessed truly in my heart stay blessed to all parties involved i am dj bless one y'all have a blessed day and keep this copa steady man we can only hope the outcome for whatever the most high wishes